Zoc777 and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a very neat application called FLUX. What FLUX does is essentially um, tints your computer screen at nighttime to make it easier on your eyes. So after sunset, it essentially tints it a yellow color to make it easier on your eyes um, compared to the rest of the room. So for example, if you have all your lights off and you know so when you first look at your computer screen, it's kind of hard on your eyes, well this program helps you out there. I've been using it for about a week now and I have to say it does help out a lot. And if you're a person who uses the computer at nighttime, definitely check it out. Now to download it, I'll have a link in the description below. Go to the page and just press the big blue down button there and you get this nice little setup file. Go ahead and open it up. It has no adware, no junk whatsoever. So hit I agree and it installs right away. You can close the thank you to install page and FLUX will show up. Now if it's past sunset, basically nighttime, the program will immediately start tinting your screen. Now, unfortunately, um, my I can't show you guys the tinting process as the recording application won't show that. What you want to do though is set up your location. So click on click to set location, type in your current location, hit search. It should show up on the map there, hit OK, and then you're good to go. It will adjust if it needs to. And that is pretty much it. So the program will work by itself from now on. So basically after sunset, it will tint itself and then it will untint as the night as sun comes back up again. If you click the blue icon, it will run through a full 24 hours in about five seconds. So you can see the whole tinting, what it will do, and then how it untints slowly as the night or as the day comes upon. Otherwise though, there isn't much else. You can disable it for one hour if you're doing some color accuracy work. As you can tell when it tints, it does change the colors slightly. Um, it's not a big deal in my opinion, um, but if you're doing color specific work, you may want to disable it. There's a settings page if you're interested in going to the settings, but honestly, it's not, not much to change. You can change the location there and you can change how much tint it applies at nighttime, um, but that does require a special driver. Um, but honestly, the way it's set up is probably the best way. And guys, that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, you can leave a like. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those below as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in our future videos. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.